So today we're going to make another dish. I'm going to make another dish um, featuring our star fruit for the past three weeks already. We've been studying about bananas. So for this week, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make dishes that is made from banana. So I prepared two uh, dish, one savory and one sweet. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is how to make my savory dish. Now traditionally, in the Philippines, so this is a Filipino food. So uh, traditionally we call it puchero. But puchero has a lot of ingredients. So what I'm going to make uh, today is just a simplified version of puchero. Okay? So I'm going to show you guys the uh, ingredients. So this is a simplified version of a puchero. So I'll be having this garlic, red onions, tomatoes, and... Uh, you can use this kind of cabbage. This is a lettuce, I think. Chinese cabbage. Okay, or you can also use other cabbage. Of course, we have banana. Uh, in the Philippines, in the Philippines, we're using saba. But I don't know if this is a small saba or a different kind of banana. Okay, a different species of banana. And of course, we have some pork. Lean pork. Okay. If you want to use pork belly or other parts of uh, pork parts, pork parts, you can use this too. So uh, any other proteins that you'd like, it's up to you. Okay, so we're just going to chop and prepare this, this ingredients and then afterwards we're going to uh, cook it. Garlic, onion, tomatoes. Okay, garlic, onion, tomatoes. Then we have our pork, banana, and then our Chinese cabbage. You can also use an ordinary cabbage. Okay, I just prefer this one. Okay, I don't know where I should put you. And I want to tie my hair. Just give me a moment. Uh, 
uh, savory sauce. Still, we're going to use banana, and this is what we call toron. Okay, but traditionally, toron is uh, saba, okay, a banana that is wrapped with rice paper. Okay, put some sugar in it and then wrap it in the uh, fry it. Okay, so uh, we're still going to use that same concept. Okay, uh, so first, just peel off your bananas and cut the uh, cut them into half. So this is quite small, but I need to cut it like this, okay? Can you see it? Okay, like that. So you cut it into half, okay? So like that. Okay, so I'm going to be preparing like, let's say, uh, maybe just around three or four. Okay, so I'm going to be using this rice paper, okay? So, uh, if you don't know how to use this kind of rice paper, you just wet it a little. Okay, so this is how the rice paper looks like. Okay, so I need some space here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, wet this. Okay, do not drench it in water, okay? If it's still flaky and solid after you dip it into a water, that's okay. After you're, uh, while you're on the process of arranging your bananas and your sugar, okay, it will just soften and uh, it will be ready for your, to wrap it, okay? So just make a dip, quick, quick dip of that, okay? That's it, okay? Okay, so I'm just going to put white sugar uh, preferably if you have brown sugar brown sugar is better okay it has that uh, good color in it okay uh, and also if you have jackfruit you can actually put jackfruit in it it would taste better okay so just put some sugar in it and then wrap simmer and your uh, pork is already cooked we're gonna put in uh, tomato sauce tomato sauce okay it's up to you how much do you want to put okay but as, as long as it thickens and it reddens and you taste it the tomato 
tomatoes, that would be okay. Because you already put in, you put in some tomatoes already. Okay, so you... And then after that, we'll just put in our cabbage. Turn it off. Turn off the fire cover, and then take it off the machine. Okay, so put in some oil. Okay, so I already made the uh, turon and also I finished cooking the uh, savory dish which is the uh, puchero. So now the time to test how it tastes. Okay, so we'll first taste the uh, puchero. Okay, so can you guys see it? Okay, so it's good with rice. So I'm gonna get some veggies. So the banana is a little sweet. and sweet okay so that's it for our savory and sweet dish so I hope that it gives you some idea on how you're going to prepare your menu using banana okay so good luck and see you again next time